What is cholesterol? These days, cholesterol word itself is feared upon as if it's a villain. One of the common health query our patients have is about cholesterol. We all know that high cholesterol is not that good and may cause diseases like heart attack and brain stroke. Is cholesterol that dangerous? How to control and treat this cholesterol? Let's discuss in this video. Stay till the end of this video where I will be giving some tips to control your cholesterol. That's it. Let's get started. Hello friends. Welcome to DocLog's channel. I am Dr. Arun Naik, a doctor for 30 years and a neurosurgeon for 20 years now. Dialogue with your doctor is called DocLog. In this channel, we have doc logs related to brain and heart health, lifestyle diseases, cancer, spine health, and preventive health. We also give here simple, effective tips and tricks to put you on the positive side of your health. Hypercholesterolemia or elevated levels of cholesterol in the blood causes two major diseases, heart attacks and brain strokes. Friends, Every year, approximately 60 million people die worldwide. Heart attack and brain stroke together are the world's biggest killers, accounting for a combined 15 million deaths. 15 million deaths out of 60 million deaths. That's about a quarter of all deaths. Every two seconds, one person on this planet suffers a stroke. These diseases have remained the leading causes of death globally in the last 15 years and likely to remain so in our lifetime also. So friends, high cholesterol is a silent killer in the community. People of all ages, genders and ethnicities can have high cholesterol. But cholesterol abnormalities are very common in Asian population. Now, what is cholesterol? Cholesterol, friends, is a type of lipid that is fat found in the body. It's a waxy fat-like substance that your liver produces naturally. Let me tell you, cholesterol is very vital for every cell in our body because cholesterol makes their cell membranes or borders of the cells. Similarly, cholesterol also is important in metabolism of steroid hormones and vitamin D or sunshine vitamin. So cholesterol is not that villain if its level is in control. Cholesterol comes from two sources. Your liver makes most of the cholesterol, that is 75% of it. The remainder 25% of cholesterol in your body comes from the foods you consume. This is called dietary cholesterol. In our body, this cholesterol needs a transport mechanism to travel in the blood. To help transport cholesterol, your liver produces lipoproteins which are kind of tiny packets of cholesterol made from fat and protein. They carry this cholesterol and triglycerides. Triglycerides are another type of lipids through your bloodstream. The two major forms of lipoproteins are low density lipoprotein or LDL and high density lipoprotein or HDL. LDL cholesterol or bad cholesterol carries cholesterol in the blood. If your level of LDL cholesterol is too high, it can build up on the inside wall of your arteries. The buildup is also known as cholesterol plaque. The medical name for this plaque formation is atherosclerosis. This plaque can narrow your arteries limit your blood flow and raise your risk of blood clots. If a blood clot blocks an artery in your heart, it causes heart attack. If it blocks a brain artery, it can cause a brain stroke or a brain attack. Now you know why LDL cholesterol is called bad cholesterol. L for loafer. HDL cholesterol or high density lipoprotein is called good cholesterol. H for hero. It's a natural scavenger of bad cholesterol LDL. 
it clears the LDL from your blood and sends back to your liver to be removed from your body. When you have healthy levels of HDL cholesterol, it can help lower your risk of blood clots. And that also means that less of heart disease and less of stroke. So now you know that high LDL cholesterol is dangerous and high HDL cholesterol is good for your heart and brain. Triglycerides. If you read your cholesterol report, you will see a triglyceride measurement. These triglycerides are another type of lipids. They are different from cholesterol. While your body uses cholesterol to build your cells and certain hormones, it uses triglycerides as a source of energy. When you eat more calories than your body can use it right away, it converts these calories into triglycerides. It stores triglycerides in your fat cells. If you regularly eat more calories than your body can use, your triglycerides levels can get high. This may raise your risk of several health problems including heart disease and stroke. People with high triglycerides often have a high total cholesterol level including a high LDL or bad cholesterol level and a low HDL or good cholesterol level. Many people with diabetes also have high triglyceride levels. Now what are the causes of high cholesterol? Eating too many foods that are high in cholesterol, for example saturated fats and trans fats may increase your risk of developing high cholesterol. I must also tell you that a diet very high in carbohydrate, that is if you are eating more than 60% of uh, total calories by carbohydrate also causes high cholesterol levels. Many lifestyle factors also can contribute to high cholesterol and these factors include diabetes, inactivity, obesity, excess alcohol intake and smoking. One more cause of high cholesterol is your genes. Your genetics also can affect your chances of developing high cholesterol. It is called familial hypercholesterolemia. Very simple. If your parents have high cholesterol, chances are that you are also at a higher risk of having high cholesterol. Now what are high cholesterol symptoms? In most cases, however, high cholesterol is a silent killer. It typically doesn't cause any symptoms. Many people don't even realize that they have high cholesterol until they develop serious complications such as a heart attack or a stroke. And I see this quite often in my practice as a neurosurgeon. Friends, young people in their 30s and 40s are brought to me with stroke and this is definitely not a good sign for the society. Now how to check your blood cholesterol levels? Friends, blood cholesterol is checked by a simple lipid profile test and this test requires an overnight 12 hour fast. How to lower cholesterol? We doctors look at your lipid panel test and will decide if you need any measure to lower your cholesterol. If cholesterol level is too high, then we take into account many factors. That is your age, lifestyle, weight, family history, physical activity, etc. to prescribe relevant lifestyle changes or medications wherever needed. What are the diet changes you need to make to control cholesterol? To help you achieve and maintain a healthy cholesterol level, we doctors recommend some changes to your diet. Limit your intake of foods that are high in cholesterol, saturated fats and trans fats. Now what are the foods that are high in cholesterol, saturated fats or trans fats? Friends, foods like red meat, organ meats, egg yolks and high fat dairy products have a really high levels of bad cholesterol. Then processed foods made with cocoa butter, palm oil or coconut oil, deep fried foods such as potato chips, onion rings and fried chicken. Also certain baked goods such as cookies and muffins. Those people who eat eggs, one suggestion, limit the egg yolk to one per day. 
you can eat egg white as per your protein needs just avoid egg yolks as yolk contains high cholesterol what are the foods which keep your cholesterol levels under control these are the foods you should consume more choose lean sources of protein such as chicken fish and legumes eat a wide variety of high fiber foods such as fruits vegetables and whole grains they are good in controlling your cholesterol levels up for baked boiled steamed grilled and roasted foods instead of fried foods consume more of omega 3 foods like fish fish like salmon mackerel and herrings they are rich sources of omega 3s and are very good for your heart and brain function don't worry you vegans out there walnuts almonds flax seeds and avocados will supply your required omega 3s omega 3 foods bring down your ldl levels and bring up your good cholesterol or hdl watch other videos regarding brain healthy and heart healthy foods in my channel i've also explained how to adjust your dietary habits to optimize your health don't miss one video called difference between good cholesterol and bad cholesterol in my channel coming to cholesterol medications in some people we prescribe medications to help lower your cholesterol levels these medications are called statins and there are clear guidelines to start statins so in a nutshell to lower your risk of developing high cholesterol eat a nutritious diet that's low in cholesterol and high in fiber avoid excessive alcohol consumption excess alcohol builds up your triglycerides and cholesterol levels maintain a healthy weight because obesity deranges your cholesterol levels most importantly exercise regularly walking cycling swimming cardio or a game of badminton indulge in some physical exercise at least 5 days a week depending on your physical capabilities and other health issues please contact your physician if you have any health issues before starting exercises i think this is the most important factor which helps you to lower your cholesterol levels lastly one word for smokers out there stop stop smoking keep a target of 6 months to kick that butt so that your cholesterol levels will come back to optimal levels with that we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed bringing it to you let me know in comment section below when did you do your lipid panel test and what was the result and what modifications you have chosen to optimize your cholesterol ultimately that's what this doclogs channel is all about having dialogues with your doctor finally don't forget to subscribe to my channel share this video with your loved ones and make sure that you and your loved ones are always on the positive side of health i'll be back with another doclog very soon till then Do awesome feel awesome and take good care of your health